19 years old, a quiff golden and folding spectacled incredulity. He flew at me like a hawk at the end of my talk, all jovial, amused a colonial like me could dare to be serious. His tone imperious, he dismissed the mysterious with a sigh. We cannot take truth from on high, he cried. We must build our beliefs from below. I said, oh, how do you know? He said, surely you think that is so. He said, now cynical. We cannot rest on a miracle. Our method is empirical. I said, I admire your modus operandi. I myself find it quite handy in matters scientific. But let's be specific. Which specific item within this world has told you how to view it? Or did you just intuit your scheme? He said, what do you mean? I said, you claim to be earthbound, to build your world up from the ground. But where is that approach found? You can't extract it from any brute fact. It's not as though nature is a philosophy tract. I'm not trying to be satirical, but you need a reason to be empirical. He said, it's just a given. A given. This became the pattern of our parlay. Whatever moves he'd put in play, I'd find beneath the display a stray assumption a hidden reliance. Like when he spoke of science, I rhapsodized about its cause, to hypothesize our higher laws, to scrutinize their intercourse, to crystallize their basic force, prognosticize their future course. It's an enterprise I full endorse. But tell me, what lies at its source? To make it work, you need triangulation, law and mind and world's relation, interlocking calibration, a miracle of integration. Look around, it should astound. This scientific playground? Why should such a world be found? Who do we need to reimburse for this rationally ordered universe? It's a given, he said. He seemed to really like this answer. Whenever he'd advance a theory underneath, I saw it clearly. Like when we spoke of human rights, I asked how apes attained such heights. It's a given, I was told. And when he scolded Old Testament wars, I asked, whence came supracultural mores? What's the source of timeless laws? He'd pause and then say, it's a given. Which was frustrating. But I'd continue unabating, asking, who are we, these minds relating? How is brain chemistry debating? If we're synapses pulsating, who's the me that's cogitating? It's a given, he said. He thought the mystery of mind should be disenchanted. I reckon he just took it for granted, which seems a fudge. But our conversation nudged along, discussing values by which we judge, maths, morals, reason, the cosmos's cohesion, goodness, truth, beauty, love, the fact we hold such things above. All givens, he croaked. I broke and said, this world is bespoke, your mind is woke, each moment transcendent values you invoke? Is this a joke? Because it's ill-delivered. You admit it's all given. Ever wonder about the giver? Because while we're taking everything for granted, supplanting his fame, branding it all in our name, he has planted himself here all the same. In a world that just takes, he breaks himself open in pure devotion. Himself he outpours to prove he's the source. My friend, I said, we have common cause. It is all given. And he's given so he can be yours. Thanks.